Good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming and um, expressing your interest in all of this. Um, we're going to be starting off talking about what are, you know, just an introduction to indicators. And so one of the key things you really need to think about is that an, an indicator is a measure of something, but without a goal um, that that indicator is measuring progress towards, it's really not very useful. And so you really have to think about indicators and goals together. You can't just say, oh, what's the right indicator, unless you know what goal it is you're measuring progress towards. So the goal is the description of the future, and the indicator is a numeric measure. Um, and it, it could be at a system level, what's the big picture of where we're going? It could be at an organizational level, what are we doing about that big picture, or at an action level. And it's important to think about when you develop an indicator, which of those levels um, you're measuring. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit more. Um, a lot of times people will say, well, first we have to have, and then depending on who you are, you might say goals and you might say indicators. But in fact, they really work together. A lot of times you can say, well, our goal is, especially if anyone's here is familiar with community master planning or community um, general plans, they say our community is going to be, and there's this wonderful statement about what it is. But if you then ask someone to say, well, what would you measure? What would, what would it be like 50 years from now? It actually helps people to understand how what they, they might see in that wonderful paragraph is not quite the same as what someone else means. So it really helps to use your indicators to help refine the goals and use the goals to help define what the indicators are. Um, and they're actually, they're both part of a process. It's not that you create the indicators and the goals and then you're done. You know, you have to set the goals, you have to plan, you have to implement something, and then you have to go back and say, are we making progress? And it's a continuous process. So the indicators are a tool. Indicators by themselves are basically a waste of time and resources. Um, one of the biggest issues I have is with people who say, well, we're going to do this indicator report. And I say, well, who's the report for? Well, if we put the indicators out there, then people will just do what they have to do. Well, if you don't know who th the audience is, then you don't necessarily know whether that indicator is going to work for that particular audience. Because indicators actually have several different functions, and different indicators fit these functions differently. So for example, indicators can be used to raise awareness. They can be used to engage stakeholders. They can be used to inform decisions. And they can be used to measure progress. How many here are, are familiar with the ecological footprint as an indicator? I think that is one of the best sustainability indicators that there is. However, what it's useful for is raising awareness and perhaps engaging stakeholders. It's really not a good indicator for measuring progress because it's such a big picture indicator. It doesn't help you make decisions. I mean, I happen to know that I have a huge en environmental footprint. So what am I going to do right now? How am I going to change my behavior? You have to dig down into what it really means to say what you're going to do. So you have to think about what is the purpose for the indicator before you decide which is the right indicator? Because there are other ones that, for example, just your energy use is a much better indicator for measuring progress related to your ecological footprint. So you have to think about what is the purpose. There are lots of indicators out there. And we have to be careful that we don't just say, well, it has to be something. We've got the data for this. We're going to measure it. Because a lot of our traditional indicators are not going to help us get to, to sustainability. So what we need are indicators that help us understand, instead of these, this stovepipe of here's the environmental issues, here are the social issues, here are the environmental issues, we need to have indicators that help us see the connections between all of them. So for example, a lot of times in the economic realm, we measure something like the median income. And so if I said to you, what should the median income be 50 years from now? Anybody got an answer? You know, it's, it's one of those very narrowly defined indicators, and it doesn't tell you how that relates to the cost of living um, or how many people are actually making that median income as opposed to, you know, what's the split. So what we need are indicators that help us um, measure the connections between these different areas. 
So a sustainability indicator, and we haven't defined sustainability, but um, that's been defined in a couple of other instances today, so I'm not going to go back to that. But a sustainability indicator is one that measures a key aspect of sustainability. So it's measuring the carrying capacity of one of our com types of community capital. And when I talk about community capital, I'm talking about natural, social, and economic capital. So it's got to be measuring something about the carrying capacity or how well that uh, community capital is lasting or going to last. It has to be measuring something about equity, intergenerational um, and intragenerational. And, or it could be measuring something about the long-term balance between economic, social, and environmental goals. It should be focusing on the system level. You can't be measuring something that's just about today because sustainability is long-term. You need an indicator that helps you focus on the long term. You have to be measuring outputs, I'm sorry, outcomes, not the inputs or the outputs. It doesn't matter how many brochures you put out or how many website hits you have. What we're looking for is what are the greenhouse gases emissions and have we reduced them since last year? Big picture outcomes. And so we also need to be looking at the, the long term um, progress towards a sustainable economic, social, and environmental 